Hi everyone, this is Professor Benjamin, and the objective of this video is to give you an overview of our cumulative course project. So this course project is going to span the entire semester, and it is going to incorporate tools that you learn along the way um, and ask you to use those in this final project. Um, so some of you might feel a little overwhelmed if you start looking at part two or part three or part four of this course because you just, we haven't covered that material yet. But as we cover that material throughout the semester, you'll become familiar with the tools, right? And then you're gonna apply those tools into your own kind of course project. So the course project instructions are located here and I'm gonna walk you through those in a second. The this is an example of a, a student that completed a final project for us last semester, um, and she has given us permission to use this. Um, and there is an additional component that we've added this semester, which is to create a map, and I'll show you how to do that. Of course, as you learn how to do that throughout the semester, you'll know how to do that and include that in um, the final project. And then as you can see, there's different parts to the final project, and we do this so the whole project doesn't feel overwhelming. So you meet these specific deadlines, um, and then at the end, you put it all together. Um, and the reason we do that is we find that a lot of students wait until the last minute to do their work, and we wanna give you those specific deadlines along the way so you don't feel that 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 overwhelming and then I know when I get overwhelmed I kind of shut down and we don't want that feeling to happen to students so we give you these due dates throughout the semester and then at the end of the semester of course you'll submit your course final project um, to us so let's walk through this course project with you um, and here is the course project instructions so this project is worth 30% of your final grade. So it is a significant portion of your final grade. And that's why it's important to meet those specific benchmarks throughout the semester. Um, this is a cumulative project that is broken down into parts with deadlines throughout the semester. If you miss one of those parts or deadlines, you will not be given credit for that specific portion, but you also will not be given feedback. So you'll just move to step two. The issue with this is that you don't get that feedback and that feedback from us is really important. So it, it's really, really important that you miss meet those deadlines because what happens is we find that students really fall behind if they don't miss one of the, if they miss one of the deadlines. Um, so it's essential that you do not miss course project deadlines. So the objective of this project is for, is for students to analyze data to provide informed recommendations to law enforcement agencies. So what we're gonna do is pretty much we're gonna find a database that from one of the approved databases that we've given you. You're gonna analyze that data, which we start doing in week four of this semester. So you'll learn the tools to analyze the data. Then you're gonna learn how to graph um, and create charts for that data, which we do later in the semester. And then you're gonna create a map for that data, which you're gonna do later in the semester. And then you're going to, with all of that data and information that you analyze from your database, you're gonna make informed recommendations to law enforcement agencies. So you're gonna tell law enforcement agencies what to do with that data. Um, and that's really where we need to head. And especially in today's climate, we need to tell law enforcement agencies what we see in the data. Maybe they're missing something. So we really need to help them and show them what we see in the data. So here are the learning outcomes and the technological essential skills that we will learn through this course project. And we cover an enormous amount of learning outcomes and essential skills in this, um, in this project. So the, this project will span the semester with a specific due dates um, and tasks given in Canvas. First, students will pick a database from the list provided and analyze the database using Excel formats. Second, students will then display the data in graphs, pie charts, maps, and present the graphs in PowerPoint. And lastly, students will use the data in order to provide informed recommendations to those law enforcement agencies. Um, and remember, you can take a look at that example that I gave you from a student just to give you a sense of where we're headed with this. So right now, you might feel like, oh my gosh, I'm overwhelmed already. And that's why we had that broken up into steps. And then you'll get a better sense as you move forward. So here are the approved databases. Um, these are the databases that we've kind of checked out that we know have raw data. Because remember, we're analyzing raw data. And then you're going to pull that from that raw data, you're going to pull maybe how many white individuals were killed or, or I don't know. I mean, the, the sky's the limit in what you want to analyze in terms of this data. 
So let's walk through some of these approved databases because step one of this course project, part one, is going to be to pick, please identify the data set from this list, um, from these approved databases, you're going to pick one, one that you find interested in. Remember, you're doing your whole project on this, so you need to find out the interest to you, okay? Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to download the data, so you're going to upload the data, and then you're going to give us one to two sentences about the data. So what is the data? You know, a little description about the data. Um, and, you know, this uh, data that I'm going to analyze are police incidents that are occurred in Curry, North Carolina between the eight, between the dates of 2016 and 2018. That's kind of what we're looking at in terms of the two sentences. Okay, so if the data is in CSV format, you need to save it as Excel format. Okay, um, and then you, so what we really need from you in part one is the database in Excel format and then the um, the two sentences on your data. So you're going to have two things to upload to us, a little bit about the data, and then of course your Excel spreadsheet. So that's part one. Remember again, you want to find something of interest to you because if it's not interesting to you, then you're not going to, excuse me, <coughs> you're not going to find joy in this project. Okay, so here's the list. So I right here are police incidents or whatever you're going to do. And I don't know why this database is giving me such a hard time. Um, I'm going to try and upload it again. But this is what it should be showing you, this database here. And I don't know why, why. Okay, here it is. So you're going to click on this link over here. So click here. Um, so click here. We're going to click right here. Um, and this is going to take us to here. And as you can see, it's a lot of different data sets. So what I'm going to do here is in the search bar, I'm going to put crime and I'm going to hit enter. And here's all different um, ideas. So here's citizen complaints in the city of Bloomington. Here's police incidents in the town of North Carolina. And as you can see, there's different files underneath. And notice there's a CSV file. This is the file that you want. Um, and then you're going to open this file. So I'll show you what you're going to do. You're going to click on it to open the file and then you're going to save it. Um, here we go. Law enforcement officers assault, assaulted, and it looks like it's by date. So here's first quarter 2016. You're going to need more data than that. That's not enough data. Um, it, so let's not use that. Um, or if you're going to use it, you have to compilate all this data into one Excel spreadsheet because it doesn't look like there's a lot. Um, there's only like two or three line items. Um, initial purpose of traffic stop by driver, sex, race, and ethnicity. Um, so this is a CSV format. Uh, suspicious activity. Um, that's This is not what you can use because see, it's an HTML format. We really need that CSV or that um, or Excel file format. Here we go. Bicycle crash data. Police traffic stops by gender and ethnicity. Fire incidents, police incident blotter, 30 days. You can have the CSV file. Major crimes monthly uh, in the city of Jackson, Mississippi. Right here is your information. So let's just download that. So notice, oops, see a lot of, a lot of sites we've noticed are taking down their police incident data. Mm, in, really interesting to me. Um, police action taken by driver, sex, race, and ethnicity. See this? private data. So we're, we're noticing a lot of this happening. Um, so you kind of have to click around to see until you can find um, something. Here we go. Let's maybe this one. The city of Durham, North Carolina. Yep. Nope. A lot of them are taking down their police incident data. It's absolutely disturbing, if you ask me, um, is that the idea of data being out there is so people can analyze it and actually make recommendations to police agencies. Look at this. All of these data sites are being taken down. So let's do one more. If not, I'll have to upload. I'm going to have to up, re-upload this one, this site. So let's move to the next site and I'll figure out a way to put this in here to find this. But how about New York uh, police historical shooting data? You can click on this and open it up. And here we go. Here is 
download the data. So you can actually download this data here and you'll see it's a huge file. And we actually use some of this data, but look at this file. Here we go, the incident, the date, the precinct, um, the race, the coordinate, longitude, latitude, so then you can map it. Um, and it gives you all of this incident. Look, by precinct, um, by uh, age, by sex, by race. So this is interesting data. Um, this is a very viable website that you can use. Here we go, Open Philly databases. We have tons of data on Open Philly databases and you can scroll down here, crime incidents um, in all these different years and you can click on here and it's gonna open the CSV file. So what you would do is you would click, this is not available at the moment, so that means that this data is not available, but you could say download this resource, maybe it'll open. Right here though, I found luck clicking here and opening the database and you can find the database here. If you click this, it should download um, the database. Here we go. Incidents part one in CSV. So click up here and it'll find the data. Oop, it's a big file, so it's taken a little bit of time to open it. And here we go, if we open this data here. Oh, uh, why is this, am I, am I clicking too fast? Uh, this is the Philadelphia historical shooting data. So let me, I mean the New York City. So let me X out of that. Let me find it. Come on, sorry, everything's so slow anymore. Let me see something. Me, okay, so I, I opened it. It's right here, and here it is. It gives you the general code. It gives you where it lo where it happened, and it gives you the longitude and latitude. It also gives you the time and the date. So this one you would probably have to analyze by date, um, by time that it happened, the location, maybe the general code. This doesn't do it by person or what happened with the person. So there's, you gotta remember that, the incidents. Um, and then if you look here, there's two more. There's gun violence and FBI crime data. I wanna show you the FBI crime data. I'm running out of time in this video and I wanna show you this. But you can see here, here are the master file and here are the data sets. So you can actually cr click on them like hate crime. And here it is. And you can see right here is the CSV file. So what you do is you click right over here and say download. And it'll download the CSV file for you. Um, and then you can use that data to look at hate crimes, um, police employee assault on law enforcement officers. You can click on that and check out um, the CSV file. Zip can't be downloaded securely. So why can't it be? To see this, it's amazing to me that a lot of this data is now being taken away um, from these websites. So let's see this download. I need to find out why these are. So hopefully by the time this, you're able to pick the databases, I'll have a list of approved databases here. We may need to find some of these because these were working the summer and now they're not working anymore. So by the time I, by t the time the first part is due, we will definitely have a list of approved databases for you um, to take a look at and pick from. Um, so what you will do is you'll, for part one, you'll click that database and then you'll upload the database to us. So you're going to have to download the CSV file and save as Excel. And then you need to give us one to two words about it. So I apologize for that, but most of these worked in the summer and it seems as if there's been a lot of data that's trying to be removed from sites. Um, so we'll take a look at that and we'll make sure we have a list of approved databases for you for this final project. As always, if you have any questions, let us know. And what we'll do is we'll make a video for each part. So it'll help you with each part. Um, but this is for part one and kind of an overview of the course project. So remember part one, you will just upload this the Excel file and tell us a little bit about the database that you're gonna use. And remember, you're gonna stay with that same database for the entire project. You're not switching around databases. Whatever you pick here is what you're going to do your final project on, okay? If you have any questions, as always, reach out and we'll probably have a help session for this as well, um, like a Zoom session. Have a great week.